The Beam Self Propel Howitzer represents a significant milestone in the collaboration between the South African Defense Company, the NIR, and the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Conceived in the 1990s, the Beam was designed to meet the Indian Army's requirements for advanced self propelled artillery units. This innovative artillery system amalgamates the sophisticated Denier T6 turret with the robust action man battle tank chassis, resulting in a formidable weapon of war. The development of the beam anti-ray system began in the earnest in the 1990s under the supervision of DRDO. The system underwent extensive trials in 1998 and 1999, which it passed successfully. These trials demonstrated the system's efficiency and potential to fulfill the Indian Army's need for modern self propelled artillery. Despite the successful trials, the project was paused for over a decade due to the NIR being blacklisted by the Indian government. The beam artillery system is characterized by its integration of the NIR T6 turret with an Arjun MBT chassis. This combination provides both mobility and firepower, essential attributes for modern artillery systems. The primary weapon of the beam is the Denier 155mm howitzer gun. This powerful artillery piece is designed to deliver precise and devastating firepower over long distances. The howitzer's capabilities are augmented by a fully automatic ammunition loading system, which ensures a high rate of fire and operational efficiency. In addition to its main gun, the beam is equipped with a single 7.62mm machine gun. This secondary armament provides additional defensive capabilities, allowing the beam to protect itself against close-range threats. The beam anterior system is powered by a turret-mounted auxiliary power unit. This unit powers all the onboard systems, ensuring that the beam remains operational even if its main engine is disabled. The use of the Arjun MBT chassis provides the beam with excellent mobility across various trends, an essential feature for self-propelled anterior that needs to reposition frequently during combat operations. The Indian Army initially projected a requirement for 400 mounted 155mm howitzers. This requirement was to be split between 200 units mounted on the Arjun chassis and another 200 units on modified Tatra trucks. Despite the project being cleared for production, the blacklisting of the near haunted progress, leaving the Indian Army without the much-needed beam artillery systems. While the beam self-propelled howitzer project faced significant setbacks due to geopolitical and legal issues, its design and successful trials indicate its potential as a formidable artillery system. The Indian Army's requirement for advanced self-propelled artillery remains, and with the lifting of the ban on the near or collaboration with other defense manufacturers, the BEAM project could see a reviver. In conclusion, the BEAM self-propelled artillery system is a testament to the capabilities of DRTO and its collaboration with international defense companies. Despite the challenges faced, the BEAM represents a significant step forward in modernizing India's anterior capabilities, and its future development could greatly enhance the Indian Army's operational effectiveness.